welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a live application look at the new for fall 2018 OPI Peru collection. This collection is currently available at polishpick.com and we're just going to go ahead and jump right into live application. If you would like to hear my thoughts about these polishes, you can stay tuned till the end for that. I'm going to give you some perhaps dupes and comparisons directly following the swatch and the swatch photo of each polish. So let's go ahead and get started. As always, there are 12 polishes in this collection and I'm going to go in alphabetical order because that helps me keep on track. So first up, we have definitely one of my favorites out of the whole collection because it's a different kind of color than OPI has done too much of. It's definitely not like an overdone red or pink. We have this beautiful blue-gray. It's a slightly green leaning blue gray and it's called Alpaca My Bags and this color is cozy, it's warm, it's just, it feels very fall to me and it's comforting and also, I mean, I love a blue gray. So I really, really liked this shade. Um, a lot of these polishes I felt like looked really thin at the first coat, but they really came up nice in opacity on that second coat. So I'm just going to do two coats of everything today, with the exception of one polish that needs three coats. So this is Alpaca My Bags. The next polish in the collection is this beautiful dark red brown. It's really right there in between a red and a brown, and I love it so much. This is another top pick for me out of the collection. I'm really drawn to this kind of shade as well. This is called Como Se Yama, or you could pronounce it Llama, I guess. You guys were telling me on Instagram. Um, this is so gorgeous, so, so gorgeous. Perfect at two coats, beautiful. I mean, you guys, this is, this is fall, another just fall in a bottle to me. So I was really glad that they put this in here. Yes, it is a red based color, but this is totally different than just like the super classic red that seems to find its way into a lot of collections. So I really like this one. Next up we have this beautiful light purple. It is a light blue leaning purple. And this one's called Don't Toot My Flute. And for such a light shade, this is does have a lot of white in it, bringing it very, very light, but it did get nicely opaque at two coats, which I enjoyed. For some of the lighter shades in the collection, you could definitely go for that third if you're afraid of seeing any, you know, maybe just a little bit of patchiness, maybe a little bit of streakiness at two coats. You might find that with some of the lighter ones, and you could definitely go for a third. This OPI formula is definitely not too thick. If anything, it's on the thinner side, so going for a third coat is not going to um, give you any trouble at all. So gorgeous light purple. Don't toot my flute. This next polish is another purple and it is called Grandma Kissed a Gaucho, which is a cute, cute name. This polish is one of the um, biggest surprises for me out of the collection because this formula is going kind of towards a crelly formula. So it's not quite a jelly but it wasn't quite a cream. So basically a jelly polish is when there's less pigment and more base so that it looks kind of squishy and you need a lot more coats to build something up. I'm gonna do three coats of this one. Like I said, it's not quite a jelly. It does build up at, to where I felt like I had full enough coverage at three coats, but I really don't have a lot of polishes from OPI in this formula, so that's why I was surprised. It is a very beautiful grape shade. It's nice and brightening. And yeah, we did three coats of this. The next red in the collection is kind of similar to that first one we looked at, but it's a lot lighter. And it's still very red-brown. I would say this is pretty close to a brick red, and I think it's delicious. It is called I Love You, Just Be, and then there's a hyphen, and the name Cusco. Anyway, you guys, formula. Super duper great at two coats. Um, yeah, really like this color as well. I feel like it's very flattering. I just don't see enough of this shade primarily because it's really only promoted in fall, which happens to be my favorite time of year for, you know, color schemes. But anyway, this applies so nicely to two coats. I really, really enjoyed it. Next up, there are two pinks in the collection, and we have this first one here. This is a pretty basic kind of carnation pink, a slightly dusty, slightly warm toned pink, and it's kind of mid-range there, definitely not too dark, not too light. This is called Lima Tell You About This Color with an exclamation point. 
This applies really nicely in two coats. OPI really does know how to do their pinks. While they're not personally my preference, I don't really ever need a pink in a collection because there are just so many of them out there. They did do a really good job with it. So you're gonna see this applies really nicely in two coats, gets totally opaque, and it's beautiful. So if you happen to not have a shade like this yet, well, this one's a really great formula. We have a couple neutrals in the collection. They are very similar to each other. This is the lighter one, and the slightly warmer toned one, and then the other is going to be more cool toned. So this first one is called Machu Peach U with a hyphen before the U. And this is beautiful. This is one of the polishes I was talking about that you could maybe go for that third coat. Um, you know, it wouldn't hurt anything to go for the third coat. I'm just going to show you two. Like I said, I'm showing you two of everything today except for that one curly-ish purple. Um, it's gorgeous, you guys. It's really, really gorgeous. I feel like it's quite similar to the other one in the collection. I feel like you probably didn't need both. But um, as a polish, as it stands alone, it's really nice. So I thought this was great and a great option if you're looking for a peachy beige, a very, like light peachy beige with a little bit of something extra in there, like a tiny pinch of mauve or something. The next polish in the collection is this kind of dusty rose shade. It's a warm toned rose. So it's like they mixed some peach in there with this rose or something, but it's also dusty and it's gorgeous. I think this polish is divine. It's called My Solar Clock is Ticking. Super great pigmentation at two coats. Formula is very nice, very easy to apply. So yeah, I really like this shade. Great at two coats. This one's another one that I definitely recommend if you don't have something just like it. The next polish in the collection is my personal favorite out of the whole collection. Now whether or not it's going to appeal to you, of course that's personal preference and whether or not you already have something similar enough and makes it absolutely necessity. For me it's necessity because you know when you put on a polish and you just are like, Okay, this polish feels very good when I wear this. Do you guys have emotions like that with your polish? Like this polish makes me feel good. That's this kind of shade. It is a light, dusty, mauvey, purple, gray hybrid going on. It's so gorgeous. And yes, I'm sure I have some things like this and we'll sh I'll show you those comparisons in just a minute, but I love this polish. It's called Seven Wonders of OPI. This is the kind of color I could just put on and keep on for a long time, in fact. This looks very, very similar to Moonshine Manny Where Are the Sugar Cookies, which is the polish that I put on my toes and just keep reapplying over and over and over because this is my calming color that I just don't get sick of. So yes, love this one. Next up we have the other neutral in the collection, and this one's called Somewhere Over the Rainbow Mountains. This is very beautiful. It's quite similar to the Machu Picchu polish that we looked at before. Uh, definitely less warm. This is more of a cooler taupey beige rather than a peachy beige. Although they are very slightly different. It's not a huge, huge difference. This one's also slightly darker. So again, this applies really nicely in two coats. You could definitely go for the third. It wouldn't hurt anything if you went for that third um, coat if you just wanted to make sure there's absolutely no streakiness. Like I said, with their lighter shades in the collection, you know, you might find a little streakiness at two coats, but I just went ahead and stopped there for today just to show you how it looks at two coats. I feel like it's passable. So yes, this is somewhere over the Rainbow Mountains. The next polish in the collection is the other pink. And like I said, the two pinks are very similar. Um, they're pretty close tonally, you know, not too dark, not too light. But this one's more purpley, so of course this is one I'm gonna like a little bit better. Um, but yeah, it definitely does look like they just put a little pinch of purple or a little, moving over a little bit towards the mauve side, but they are very similar. This is called Susie Will Catch You All Later. And it's very lovely, again, in two coats. It applies so nicely and easily. And even though on the first coat, some of these look like they might not get totally opaque on the second coat, the second coat, for the most part, I always brought these right to opacity. So I really enjoyed that. This one is Susie Will Catch You All Later, which is another one of the names in the collection that I really liked. The last polish in the collection is this dark plum, and it's like a raisiny plum, just beautiful polish. I love this so much. It's called Yes My Condor Can Do, with an exclamation point. Beautifully opaque at two coats, very easy to apply. 
This just looks stunning on the nail. I feel like this is a flattering shade for many, many people. And um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. This is definitely one of my go-to fall shades. So um, that wraps up all the live application, you guys. That's all 12 shades in the fall 2018 Peru collection. And I did try to give you just a quick dupes and comparisons after each polish if I went too fast because that's my new method for dupes and comparisons instead of keeping you guys for a while here at the end you know you can always just go back or push pause and write things down so as for my thoughts initially and um, you guys if you came to the live video on Instagram when I was showing these with to you my initial thoughts were that um, I was thinking a lot about how some of these polishes are quite similar to other polishes in the collection like they just did slightly different tones of the same color. For example, like with the two red browns, with the two pinks and with the two neutrals, I feel like they were incredibly similar and they just kind of took one shade and either lightened it just a little bit or darkened it a little bit and there, you know, voila, you have another shade, which is, you know, it's kind of nice if you are locked into a color you like and you just want it a little bit lighter or darker and that's kind of nice. Um, but for me, as a consumer and somebody who usually likes to buy full collections of things, especially because I review them, I just think to myself, oh, well, this is too similar. You know, I want more variety. So that was my initial thought. Again, another initial thought that I had as I was starting to swatch these, a lot of them are on the thinner side. And they're thinner than I feel like is usual for an OPI cream. Um, and so I was a little bit disappointed on the first coat. I thought, well, what are they doing here? This, these are too thin. Um, and you guys know I've talked about before, I feel like with mainstream brands, if they're too thin, that's because they're really trying to make the polishes stretch, and which helps them make a little bit more money. But the fact that they were all, for the most part, opaque at two coats, then that made it so I didn't mind that they were thin. You know what I mean? So at first, I thought, well, these aren't going to cover me well enough, and I'm going to have to do three coats of everything. But it didn't end up being the case. So um, I feel like a lot of my first impressions, I ended up feeling differently about them. And I actually really like this collection, you guys. Now, for sure, there's not a ton of variety here. For sure. We have reds. We have neutrals, pinks, and purples, and then that one gray blue. So I feel like for the relaxed, polished consumer, these polishes are really great, and I would recommend every single one. Um, if my opinions helped you out, I hope that they did. You don't have to share my opinion, um, but certainly I hope the live application helped you out so that you would know if you need any of these polishes. Like I said, you can get them at polishpick.com. You guys know by now that's my tried and true place to go for a good deal on OPI. So. I think that's it, you guys. Thanks for coming by for this review. I hope to see you back for the next one very soon. Take care. Bye.